All right, so welcome to the video. Today we are going to focus on a men's haircut with a razor. And we're gonna use the Donald Scott carving comb. You can see that there's a fine tooth version. There's also a wide tooth version. So um, what we're gonna do for this cut, it's gonna be a nice lived in haircut with a disconnected top. We're gonna call this a modern take on the bowl cut. So I had a bowl cut all growing up. My mom would cut a bowl, put, basically put a bowl on top of your head, cut around it, shave underneath, and that was like the coolest cut back then. Today what I want to do is show you guys a, a little bit more of a modern version on that. A lot of people wearing disconnected uh, haircuts. So what I do is I take diagonal back partings. I use the comb on the razor to do that and I hold it straight out from the head. And then what I do is I just pass that razor along. I'm keeping the razor at a 45 degree angle. It doesn't matter what razor you're using. Um, if you're using a feather razor, whatever it is, you wanna keep that blade at a 45 degree angle. That's gonna give you a nice smooth glide. You could see how I'm not carving through the hair. I'm just sliding the razor across and I get my lines. This is such a quick way to cut hair, guys. Like a lot of people don't pick up a razor. I'm not sure why, but when you pick up a razor and you just take it and you can go right through it. It's almost like cutting with a clipper, but you get more movement, more texture into it. So I really like this tool for that. So you can see I'm just keeping everything pulled straight out from the head. Now, when I get up into the crown area, that's when I'm going to start to over direct it a little bit further over. And what that'll do is it'll push that weight to the crown um, right above the occipital bone. So what I want to do is just build up that extra weight. So notice I, I basically uh, move into a stationary guide at this point and I bring everything down and over. Now we'll tighten up everything around the nape, just keeping my finger angle flat with the head. So make sure your finger angle is following the head shape. Now I move the opposite direction, uh, diagonal back on the head, combing everything straight out. Key thing here is just to make sure that you do not lower your elevation, especially at this point. A lot of people, um, as you start to get tired or you're just working through the haircut, you start to lower your elevation naturally. You got to keep in your head that you want to stay elevated so you don't build up extra weight on one side. You want to have a nice even haircut. So notice I keep just cleanly continuing through the haircut and then when I get up to that crown area that's when I'm going to move into my stationary guide. Also right here you can see that connection point so I brought the one side over diagonally now I'm going back the other way diagonally and I'm just connecting those two points to keep everything nice and even. Now this is when I move into that stationary guide so notice now my elevation does drop I'm keeping it in that one spot and bringing everything over to me. Now, because we did that on both sides, right, it brings the heaviest point to that center back, and that's going to give me a nice shape to the head. Now I'm going to go in and connect the top. The way that I like to do this is just by passing that razor, a nice medium stroke with the razor back and forth, a lot of texture to this cut. This is a great cut for straight hair or curly hair because you can really create a lot of movement into it and lighten up that uh, the heaviness. So um, just going through. If my client had fine hair and I was going to do this cut. I might not choose this tool. I would probably go with the scissor, do a little bit more of a point cutting technique on the top of the head. I wouldn't uh, mind doing the razor on the sides with fine hair, um, but I would keep it a little bit longer and then I would go through with the scissor and do my disconnection just because I don't want it to be too shattered. So you can see that's where the bowl cut effect comes in. What I'm going to do is go into the sides and just shorten them a bit um, because that massive over direction that we did on the top really pushes a lot of length to the front. So you just go in and kind of carve it and decide what length you want right in the front there. So now I'm just finishing up with a little bit of detail work with my scissor. This is the Matt Beck scissor version one. It's a limited edition scissor made by Mizutani, designed by me. Um, so if you guys are looking for that, I only have a few left, but you go to freesaloneducation.com and you can pick one up. So now just a little scissor over comb work. Notice how I just kind of glide that comb across the head, just cleaning it all up um, and connecting everything together. Now I'm going to hit it about 80% dry with my Express Ion Turbo Light Dryer from Paul Mitchell. And then my product choice is the Maverick Original Pomade. It's a medium hold, natural shine, 
water soluble product. I love the shine on this product, but also it does have a really nice hold. It says medium, but it for me, like especially with thick hair, thick curlier hair, I really like a nice hold and this has that hold for me. So uh, nice shine, you can see the end result. It's a really cool modern take on what a bowl cut is. Hope you guys like this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Hit me up on social media, everything at Free Salon Education. Thank you so much for watching.